హలో వ్యూవర్స్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు మై ఛానల్ ఐ హోప్ యు ఆర్ ఎంజాయింగ్ మై వీడియోస్ ఐఎమ్ బ్యాక్ విత్ అనదర్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఫ్రమ్ లీడ్ కోర్ టుడే లోయెస్ట్ కామన్ ఆన్సెస్టర్ ఆఫ్ డీపెస్ట్ లీవ్స్ గివెన్ అ రూటెడ్ బైనరీ ట్రీ రిటర్న్ ద లోయెస్ట్ కామన్ ఆన్సెస్టర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్స్ డీపెస్ట్ లీవ్ సో బేసిక్లీ బైనరీ ట్రీ వెన్ వీ కాల్ ఇట్ ఇస్ అ లీఫ్ నోడ్ నోడ్ యాజ్ లీఫ్ నోడ్ రైట్ ఇట్ డజంట్ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ చిల్డ్రన్ అండ్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు మేక్ సమ్ అజంప్షన్స్ హియర్ so root node uh, is at the depth of 0 so root node is at the depth of 0 and in the same way if a node is at depth d right then its children are at de- depth d plus 1 that is another thing so we are going to find the lowest common ancestor so when we say lowest right it is not about the value in it it is about how close that uh those two are closely meeting at their common intersection common ancestor intersection basically right so let's take an example and try to understand what it is so here in this particular example on the right side uh, i have a tree 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 uh, it has seven nodes in the tree right so 4 6 7 and 3 these are the leaf nodes in this particular tree but 3 is at the depth of 1 4 is at the depth of 2 6 and 7 are at the depth of 3 so for our purpose since we are looking for only the deepest leaves right so the deepest leaves are 6 and 7 in our case so what is their common ancestor 5 that is the lowest common ancestor ancestor right so 6 and 7 when we traverse back right they meet at 5 so that is the lowest common ancestor for example uh, let's say uh, the this is only like this let's say the tree is like that right so that means you have 4 6 and 3 are the leaf nodes obviously 3 is at the depth 1 4 is depth at depth 4 at 2 6 is at depth 3 so in this case also the 6 in the node 6 is at deepest leaf but what is the common ancestor for this the node itself that's what we are going to return because if there are multiple nodes you would say okay where they will meet and all that but if there is a single node the ancestor is itself so that is what is the the third recommendation right so that is the common ancestor so for this thing the common ancestor is the node 6 itself so let's let's lo- go dive into the idea uh, how we are going to solve this problem right so for example uh, what we are going to do is we are going to build a map of nodes and their levels so for a given level what are the nodes that are there in the given level so for example at no at level 0 there is only one node that is root node at level 1 the node 2 and node 3 and level 2 the node 4 and node 5 at level 3 node 6 only right so that means we have built a map at node 1 2 3 like that so let let me write it here so just in case right uh let me get back right so in our previous example right at 0 we have 1 right at 1 uh, we had two nodes right at 1 we had two nodes let's go i'm just calling it as 2 and 3 at 3 sorry at 2 we had 4 and 5 let's say and uh, that was 3 6 right so yeah so let's say these are the nodes right so at level 0 there is only one node at level 1 there are two nodes at level 2 there are four five at level 3 there is only one node so here highest depth is 3 right how many nodes are there there is only one node so if there is only one node we are going to return that one node itself so that's the one thing the second thing is what if there are multiple nodes right if there are multiple nodes we are going to employ a good number of uh, different uh, steps in here 
so let's go through the steps right so what's there so get a map of level and list of nodes that is the first step so this is what it is right and the second thing is at a highest level check the number of nodes if it is only one then return that node that's it so in this case we, we are just going to return that node but if there are two nodes then we have several steps that we are going to do in here so if there are node count is greater than half of the nodes in that particular depth that means some some nodes are on left subtree and some node are, nodes are on the right subtree in that case we just return the root node but what if there is more than one node but less than or equal to half nodes half number of particular uh, nodes in that particular depth right so in that case we need to do several things the first thing what we are going to do is uh, in order traversal on the left subtree and right subtree and check how many leaves are on the left subtree and on the right subtree the leaves that we are talking about are deepest leaves not the not the regular leaves so we we are only checking for the deepest leaves if some of them are on the left subtree and and some of them are on the right subtree right then obviously we will say whatever the current root that is the common ancestor but if if all of them are onto left subtree or all of them are onto right subtree then we will have to repeat the steps a b c and d by assuming if it is all of them are on the left subtree we repeat by assuming the current root is current left subtree is the root next subtree and then repeat the steps a b c and d so likewise we are going to end up with a lowest common ancestor so the code which i am going to show you is going to follow this pattern so first it's going to get the map for the level and its list of nodes right so first things first basically the null check right root is equal to null then return the root right and then we are declaring a map here where int is storing the level and uh, corresponding list of nodes so this traverse method is going to get us the map for level and its list so uh, i have it here this this method is going to uh, get the list of the uh, sorry map for the level versus the list of nodes right and we are going to sort the map uh, by the level that is a key here and then get the last one the last entry what does that mean is we are going to get the deepest leaves right so the key is the final level and the nodes are the final level nodes if the final level nodes count is one we are just going to return that the first node in that basically the single node right and if the count is greater than the number of nodes in that particular level right in that case what we are going to do is just return the root node itself otherwise the we are falling into the this case now greater than one and less than or equal to half so that is what this else case is we are assigning the current root to a temporary root here the original root to the current root here and then we are going to do a while true this is a, this is this looks like an infinite loop but not really when we go uh, into it right so we are going to do the in order traversal for the left subtree and right subtree and store the elements in the in order traversal into a hash set so basically now in the final nodes we want to check how many of them are falling onto the left subtree and how many of them are falling onto the right subtree if that is a left count and right count if the left count is not equal to 0 and right count is not equal to 0 that means some le some leaves are onto the some deepest leaves again i am stressing here some deepest leaves some deepest leaves are onto the left subtree and some deepest leaves are on the right subtree that means the current root should be the common ancestor right that's what we are going to return but if left count is zero that means all uh, deepest leaves are onto the right subtree then what we are going to do is we are going to repeat the steps by assuming 
the right subtree right that's what we are going to do for example if right count is zero right that is else condition that means all the deepest leaves are on falling onto the left subtree so we are assuming the current root as the current roots left and going through these steps again finally at the end of it we are going to get the current root basically when current root is ever changing right by because left count and right count is changing right so that's how we are going to get the answer for lowest common ancestors of the deepest leaves hope you understood the solution and if you like please subscribe to my channel and share among your friends please click the click the bell icon so that you get all my future videos and uh, if you would like to get a career coaching one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching or one-on-one -on -one interview tapes or one-on-one -on -one mock interview right please uh, leave a comment with your email address i will reach out to you thank you very much for watching i will be back with another video very soon thank you